Hey, Abhinaya, will you explain the cervical plexus to me? I'm finding it very difficult understand. to understand. Okay, give me two minutes. A few moments later. Here you go, Nalita. Oh my god, this is so complicated. This is a wonderful and detailed diagram of cervical plexus and its branches drawn by Dr. Avinaya. Let's decode this and understand the cervical plexus in a step-by-step -step manner. As a regional anesthesiologist, we need to remember four plexuses by heart. These are cervical plexus, brachial plexus, lumbar plexus and the sacral plexus. I have already made separate videos on anatomy of lumbar plexus and sacral plexus. You can check out these videos from the i button above or from the description and the comment section of this video. Today we are going to discuss about the anatomy of the cervical plexus relevant for the regional anesthesia. The cervical plexus is considered as the plexus of loop. I remember this as a plexus of three. Please watch the full video, you will gradually understand this. The cervical plexus is formed by the ventral primary rami of the first to fourth cervical nerves. Each ramas except the first one divides into ascending and the descending parts which unites in communicating loops. C1 is not important for regional anesthesia, it is purely motor and supplies the suboccipital muscles. The branches of the superficial cervical plexus innervate the skin and superficial structures of head, neck and shoulder. Whereas the deep branches of the cervical plexus innervate the deeper structures of the neck including the muscles of the anterior neck and the diaphragm. Here C3, C4 and minor contributions from the C5 forms your favorite nerve that is the phrenic nerve which we always wants to protect. So ultimately as you can see Three roots are important for us related to cervical plexus. The branches from the cervical plexus can be divided into branches from the roots or the rami. The branches from the loops between two roots as you can see these are three numbers and the branches from the ansa cervicalis. The ventral rami of C1 unites with the hypoglossal nerve and gives three branches. Nerve to geniohyoid muscle, nerve to thyrohyoid muscle and the superior root of ansa cervicalis. The inferior root of ansa cervicalis arises from the C2 and C3 which joins with the superior root to form the ansa cervicalis. From the ansa cervicalis four branches arises. You can remember it as three. How? Nerve to sternohyoid, nerve to sternothyroid and two nerves to omohyoid muscle. One for superior belly and another for inferior belly. So coming to the branches from the roots or the ventral rami, here we have one sensory nerve and six motor nerves. So the sensory one is the lesser occipital nerve from C2. The motor nerves include two from C1 that is geniohyoid and thyrohyoid which I have already discussed during ansa cervicalis. From C2 and C3, longus coli and longus capitis and from C3 and C4 to branches to scalene muscles and the levator scapuli muscle. Now the last part that is branches from the loops. We can divide it into sensory branches and the motor branches. The sensory branches are again three in number from C2 to C3. One is greater auricular nerve and another one is transverse cervical nerve. And from C3, C4, supraclavicular nerve. The motor branches include from C1, C2 loop, total four nerves. Number one, communicating branches to vagus, rectus capitis anterior, rectus capitis lateral, and the longus capitis. From C2, C3 loop, only one nerve, that is nerve to sternocleidomastoid muscle. And from C3, C4 loop, again one nerve that is nerve to trapezius muscle. And the phrenic nerve which is a mixed nerve is also included in the branches from loops. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. You can check out the video on anatomical landmark or loss of resistance guidance superficial cervical plexus block from my channel. I will provide the link in i button and description.
I hope this video will help you to understand the cervical plexus better. We'll catch you in the next video. Until then, keep blocking, keep rocking.